one of the things that have been kind of just thrown around to whether it's the internet or people I just talk to on a daily basis is, you know, and, and it's hard because Nikola Jokic is just unbelievably good at basketball, right? But you look at him, you look at Curry the year prior, you look at Giannis the year prior, and it's obviously more complicated than star player leads said team to NBA finals and NBA title. But when you look back on the last three titles, Giannis's 50 point game set, or that was a game six comes up where he eliminates the Phoenix Suns with an all timer. Uh, Curry's 40 point, whatever game four against Boston that flipped the script. Uh, and you look at Jokic pretty much the entire series against Miami. And I look at the Celtics team and I say, all right, Obviously, Jason Tatum is the Celtics' best player. Gary, do you believe that at some point in Tatum's life, he is capable of a run like the last three championships we've seen? CLNS Media Celtics coverage is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's bonus bets back if your first bet doesn't win. Yeah, that's a good question. I think that... Uh... <laughs> I think Tatum has to literally go into next year. Like I don't, I don't know how Tatum feels about this year that just completed. Does he say to himself, um, "I had a good year, we just didn't make it, but it wasn't my fault," or does he think to himself, "Like, man, I got to be top five, top three Tatum next year," and like I wasn't that guy this year, like. I got to be, like I've said in another podcast, like Tatum has to go in and to this year coming up and being like, this is my MVP year. This is my year. Like Jokic has won it. Embiid finally won it. Giannis has won it. Who's next? Okay. Who's next? It's me. That's what Tatum has to say to himself. And, I'm not, and, and I know, like, of course, he wants to win MVPs. He wants to do all the personal accomplishments, but I think he has to connect that me being the best player in the league makes us one of the best teams in the league and probably makes us a fight for, favor to get back to the finals. So if I'm Tatum, get all your rest, rest that ankle, rest that wrist, get back in the lab. Um, I doubt, I don't think he's playing USA basketball this year. Um, and make yourself the best player in the league. Like this is your year. That's I think what I, like, that's what I think his attitude should be like, no more excuses. I'm not young anymore. I'll be 26 next year. Mm -hmm. Um, it's time for me to start his breakthrough too. Is like 20, the Curry broke through at 26. That's yeah. the year it's time for me to be more play. consistent. None of these eight, you know, three for 19 games. Or like I'm gonna have he's gonna have bad shooting nights, but none none of that goes on. Like I gotta I gotta carry these guys, and I get it. Like in Game Seven, he sprained his ankle the first play of the game. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a bad luck situation. He wasn't himself. I'm not blaming him for Game Seven, but Jason's got to be a level or two up now. This is this is your time, Jason. Like that's how I look at it. Like you know you've elevated yourself to a top ten player. Top five is debatable. If you want to, you know, depend on health or whatever, would you put him in over Damian Lillard? Would you put him in over guys? Would you put him in over, would you say he's better at this point than Steph? Because the top three, you would say Embiid, um, Jokic, and Giannis. And then, you know, would you put him in over Donovan Mitchell? Would you put him in over Curry? Would you put him in, you know, would you put him in, who would you, like, where would you rank Jason, some people probably say four, some people probably say seven, some probably might say 10, right? Jason's got to be like, no, I'm top three or number one. This is my year. Everybody else had their success. Giannis got MVPs, Yoga's got twos, MVPs, even Embiid now. Embiid is coming off of MVP season. Where's mine at? And he can't blame the media for not voting. Like he's got to convince the media, convince the NBA fan base that I'm the best MF in the league every night I'm best dude on the floor. So I don't know what Jason needs to do this summer. I think it's good. Get him some rest, hanging out with Deuce. That's great. It's only June. But July 1 or whatever, get back to the lab, 
and figure out what they want from you, how they're going to change the offense, because I would assume they're going to change this offense and adjust this offense to where it gets, you know, he moves more and he's more of a playmaker and he's coming off screens more and he's he's doing a little bit more, uh, doing more with less, maybe taking the ball out of his hands a little bit and making it easier on him to where like, okay, this is my year. Like I'm owning this. Like I haven't, I, I didn't step up and bring us to the finals. It's time that I do that. That's where I think Jason needs to approach this year. If he approaches it like, well, I'm top 10, I'm good. That's a, that's, that's a little discouraging. I don't think he'll do that. I think Jason's a dog. And I think Jason wants to be great for many reasons, personal, professional, team wise. I think he wants his, obviously zero is going to be raised in the rafters. He's going to try to chase uh, Havlicek's all-time Celtic scoring record. He's on the cusp of 10,000 points for his career. I think he'll get that in the first two or three games. Um, a lot for Jason to accomplish, but I think a championship and an MVP is what's lo- eluded him. CLNS Media Celtics coverage is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's bonus bets back if your first bet doesn't win. 